tide jugs here are, I, I alluded to this earlier, has to do with an improved signal to noise ratio. And the reason why that's important has to do with this little thing here. Now you see this? This obviously is a model car and I took this wheel off so that you can see that the pivot point on the top is directly in this case, this model, which is not 100% accurate. A, a, it's a directly above this one. But in reality, the way your car is set up, it's more like this. The top ball joint is closer to you as the driver compared to the bottom ball joint. Now I can't twist this, so bear with me here a second. Now, since this ball joint is vertical up and down, if I push sideways on the bottom of the wheel, it's just gonna try to slide it this way. But if I incline it back and I go to the bottom and I push, look what happens. It turns the steering wheel. And it has to do with the fact that the steering, it's called the steering axis, okay, meaning if the wheel is not turning 100% vertical in this direction, but instead is laid back a little, what happens is the contact patch is behind the steering axis, because the steering axis points in this direction. So the cornering force here can actually turn the steering wheel, which is why when you go into a corner, you have to put a little bit of extra force into the steering wheel to get the car to go around because that contact patch is pushing it, wanting to straighten out the steering wheel. So what you're trying to do is you have to push up against that. You see that? And it has to do with the fact that the wheels are not turning perfectly up and down. They're kind of laid back and that contact patch is trailing that steering axis and it's kind of pushing. So you kind of have to... Exactly, it's caster. Thank you. And so that's what happens. So. The reason why that's important has to do with this curve right here. Okay, this is what's called the mu slip curve. Mu is the symbol engineers use for the coefficient of friction. Because in the case of the tire on the ground, friction is how, it thing, how the thing grabs the ground. And yes, it's how we are trained to turn the steering wheel too because we learned since birth the tighter we squeeze the wheel the more control we have so we think yeah.